Hey, it's been a minute, yeah? In this video, I want to help guide you through your Easter by giving you some tips on how to revise and prepare for your exams, how to take care of yourself and what to do if you haven't started. My name is Aldrich. I'm a graduate engineering student. I've been through so many Easter holidays, so let's get to it. I want to help you make the most out of it. So let's get started. The first section, how to revise effectively. My first tip is to organize your notes. Simply put, you want to organize your notes so that you have an idea of where the gaps in your knowledge are. For example, here was my A-level maths folder. It's a, it's a big boy, right? <laughs> and how I organized the content was through these dividers. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see that, yeah? You see all that, div oh, it's broken. Anyway, you see, I've separated all my topics within each divider and I can flick through each chapter, yeah? And I can see all those notes. Look at those notes, man. Yeah, man, that's, that's how you pass A level. <laughs> and from there, I can flick through my notes. I can make more notes if I don't understand a topic or I can do more questions on a textbook or I try to teach it to someone or like an imaginary someone to show myself that I do understand the content. So yeah, organize your notes. My second tip is to read your specification. As I've mentioned, I've had this big ass folder, right? Under each title, as you've seen, I have all the different topics, but then I'll, I read the specification and I broke down, okay, partial fractions. I need to be able to do repeated factors. Like I need to know what that is. Uh, what else? Uh, can't flick through. I need to know what uh, improper types are. I need to know what improper types are with equal degree and whatever. Oh, for, for coordinate geometry in core four with the old spec, I need to know power metric equa equations and I need to be able to convert those equations to Cartesian equations. And I did that through each, um, each topic, right? In A-level maths, reading the specification is imperative because there's always questions where they combine more than one topic. So therefore in order for me to tackle questions that you know novel questions where they combining i'll know um algebra with uh with like some integration methods and then differential methods trig methods you know you know in order to tackle like these novel questions in the exam right it's so important that you know what the basics are and how do you know what the basics are Bro, you read the specification, it's all listed right there. And if your teachers were good, if your lecturers were good, they should have had this clearly laid out to you somewhere. After reading the specification, make it like a checklist. Make sure you understand all these little bits so then you are fully prepared for the exam. My next tip is in regards to past papers. And in general, I would advise you don't do all the past papers instead a more productive use of your time would be to prioritize everything you've done in the year up to this point. And then you can use past papers to sort of test yourself. If you haven't covered everything in your syllabus yet, don't wait. You should start reviewing those things as soon as possible. I remember we couldn't finish integration, right? So what I did since I was feeling confident about the other subjects and since I've been revising like the whole year already i started my integration um studying early and when it came to doing it in lessons right that's when i was more confident and i was ahead of everybody else as an estimated ratio i would spend 70 percent of your revision time covering everything you've done or learning things that you haven't covered and 30 percent of your time doing those past papers i would personally advise you to save those past papers for the run-up to exams. What I mean by that is like two to three weeks before your exam. The next section of this video, how to take care of yourself. Here are my tips. My first tip is to take micro and macro breaks. When I say take micro breaks, I mean make sure you're taking either regular breaks throughout the day as you're studying or make sure you leave out a couple hours of your day doing like non-work things every single day. When I say macro breaks, I mean take a couple days off. 
burning out is the worst thing that can happen to you right now losing that momentum when it's like so close to exams yeah taking breaks will help prevent that you might think you need to be revising 24 7 because how else could you possibly cover the whole year or years of content right but in reality is that if you don't take breaks now if and if you don't take breaks now the stress and the pressure right will build up even more next term and next term is when you'll feel even more pressured to not take a break so use easter holidays as an opportunity to reset at the same time you have to be self-disciplined don't be lazy yeah do not be lazy don't just take a break for the sake of taking a break because yes time is of the essence but you gotta discipline yourself okay you just keep that in mind when you're taking breaks yes it's good to take a couple of days off but don't just do it you know passively yeah make sure you're you are intentional about what you're doing my second tip is to listen to yourself are you feeling drowsy throughout the day during your revision fam you're sleep deprived are you hungry yeah go get some food are you thirsty go get a drink you've got to make sure your physical health and your mental health is spot on or at least decent because that will put you in a strong position to be focusing for long periods of time and at the same time your motivation will be up there and you'll be wanting to do more work and you'll be accomplishing a lot more pay attention to your body pay attention to your mind and cater to them my last tip in this section is to pay attention to your study habits if you're a night owl then cater your vision work right towards the night time and vice versa if you're an early bird don't apply hustle culture to studying nah man please do not do that don't feel the need to be revising 24 7 without breaks and stuff you know you're sleeping at 4 a.m you're waking up at 9 a.m like nah man nah man the key to the game is to be consistent and sustainable like i said you want to be building up that momentum so you can peak at exam season you don't want to fall off during exam season and the way to do that is to build good study habits the last section is for people who haven't started revision yet firstly let me say what are you doing what are you doing fam what are you doing why haven't you started why are you slacking fam oh do you have any idea like there are so many other people in the country right who has the work ethic they are putting in the work you know they're doing papers they're organizing their notes they're making sure they got good they've got good study habits why haven't you started fam oh yo yo take this moment i want to i want to give you this moment of silence yeah just, just just i want you to you know treat this moment as a moment of me lighting a fire under your bum yeah yeah you need to start revising now yeah it's just a couple months left for exam season there's still plenty of time okay you can still pull through but fam what have you been doing man why haven't you started but oh if yeah you ah oh, anyway 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 you're gonna start now yeah you're gonna start now yeah promise me that you're going to start his this easter please okay please i want to see you do well i want to see you smash the exams i don't want you to be disappointed in results day you got you know you don't want to be sad in results day yeah but anyway here's my first tip for you if you haven't started revising yet the first one is that you need to create a study plan here's what you're going to do you are going to make a list of when your exams will be and i want you to visualize them i want you to see when your exams will be i want you to be able to say okay this subject is coming up first i better revise this i better revise that etc etc and i want you to be reminded of these um, exam dates so whack it on a post-it note and put it on your wall so it's a constant reminder that you've got exams and hopefully that sh will help motivate you to work after you've made the list of your exams i want you to make a list for each of your subjects right on the things you have to cover and treat it like a checklist and 
You can do this by finding a specification on your subject, yeah, printing them off, doing whatever you got to do and ticking them off as you go so you know what you need to work on and hopefully by then as well you would have identified your weaknesses and you'll be working on those weaknesses. I also want you to have a to-do list and every day you're going to write down three things on what you're going to revise on and do that every single day and make sure you're ticking them off as you go. Now that you have, say, a decent study plan, now is the time to put in that work. To help you focus, listen to lo-fi beats, listen to jazz music, you know, do the Pomodoro technique, or if you don't like the Pomodoro technique, then work on one task at a time and make sure you are focused until you have accomplished that one task, yeah? And remember, the other tips on the video, right, was to take breaks as well. Yeah, keep that in mind. Keep in mind you wanna build study habits now. And yeah, man, just, you want now is the time to be putting that work in because time is of the essence and you want to do well for your exams and I don't want you to regret your performance. I hope this video was somewhat motivational and that you have a better idea on how to make the most out of your Easter break in terms of your revision, in terms of taking the breaks and being a little more self-aware on how to balance that. All there, is, all there is left to say now is good luck. Good luck with your revision, yeah? And as a bonus tip, right, at the very end, I'd say the most important thing during your break and, you know, even throughout exam season is to stay self-disciplined, okay? And to not be lazy. I think if you have those two things, you'll be able to, like, breeze through exams and be able to get the grades that you need. So, yeah, I'll leave you to it. Good luck, with your good luck with your revision, as I said. And yeah, man, I'll see you in the next video. Sick.